Behold, the Kingdom of Benin, modern-day Benin City. The Edo State capital is known around the world for its famous artworks, the Benin Bronzes. For centuries, Benin was a powerful empire. And right here in Agun Street, highly skilled bronze casters crafted magnificent pieces to adorn the royal palace. Today, it's a World Heritage Site, and Benin's bronze artistes are using the same skills and methods as their ancestors to create pieces for the public, as well as their king. Chief Kingsley Inne is the head of the Royal Bronze Casters Guild, a committee of artists serving the Obar of Benin with a lineage dating back to the 13th century. We are a body as the Bronze Casters Guild. Primarily the body was formed for the purpose of the beautification of the, the palace, His Royal Majesty. And we have about 120 members of the Bronze Casters Guild working here in the Yon Street. Everybody on these streets are related one way or the other. The members of the guild are placed an intact year in this community. It is transferred from father to son. Every Bronze Casters child lends the work. That's how it has been from the beginning. Hand sculpted clay figures are transformed into bronzes using an ancient wax casting process passed down through the centuries. The skill and labour involved in producing these sculptures attracts international tourists and collectors. We are commercialising because we are trying to sustain ourselves, to make our money to be able to survive. When that is not possible then, the guild is as good as going into extinction. It is very, very important they come to buy from the source. Because if any other person is duplicating, that's not the original. We are equally the custodians of the history of this kingdom by way of various forms of arts. The plaques, the normal forms, standing figures. They are all artworks to depict whatever event that has transpired in this kingdom. And the pictures and faces of all our past monarchs. When they come here, they look at our works, and they are privileged to choose from which works like we have on ground. They come, we sell to them, and with the help of the museum, if they are from outside, they, they issue clearance for them to take the works out of the country. We work hand in hand with the museum. The National Museum Benin City was built in 1973. It houses artifacts from the Royal Palace, the Benin bronzes were scattered across the world in 1897 as a result of British colonialism. Major museums across Europe have now agreed to loan important artefacts back to Nigeria for a new museum the country plans to open in 2021. The Royal Museum is the brainchild of His Royal Majesty, the Oba of Benin. So the idea of rotation of objects, Benin arts works, by the various museums in Europe to bring them to Benin and house them in this Royal Museum in an exhibition on rotational and loan basis. The interest of the monarchy in having a museum for it has really helped in swaying the European curators, who before now were worried about the safety of the objects when they come and all that. People are passionate about the return of this object. Because for over a century, there has been this resistance to return the object to their rightful owners, the Belize. They are passionate about it because each object represents an ancestor in captivity. That is how the Beninese feel about those objects taken away. Those objects were helping the Beninese to tell their own stories. Bronze casters were more or less the chroniclers of the history of Benin. It's old as 400 years or even more because the objects embody and convey the history of the people. That's what artifacts are for. If the bronze casters now produce contemporary artworks, for foreigners to come and take away, is still part of that story being told. The Bronze Age lives on, and Benin remains hopeful that its priceless art may one day return to the place where it was forged.